Yesterday we have three introduction calls and all three men and women confirmed their interest to get to know each other more. And it's really very enjoyable and exciting day for me. Yesterday I smile a lot and my muscles on the face very trained now. <laughs> the most common question that both lady and man ask each other. Woman ask man why he's looking for Ukrainian wife and man ask why she's looking for foreigner. Hey guys, Anna here, Heart of Match Guarantee, and in today's video we will talk about first Skype introduction call, do's and don'ts. I know that for many, for you guys, as well for our ladies, it's something that they never experienced before, so <laughs> you don't know really how it will go, you have worries about this. At this point, it's very important to overcome your worries and just feel relaxed, confident, Although I know it's easy on words, but when it's come to the call, <laughs> when guys see a very beautiful lady, he becomes speechless and he like mesmerized by this beauty. So guys, you know, try to at this moment <laughs> to turn on yourself and try to get out from this hypnosis and start to have conversation. Okay? It's important for you to come in good mood and. Uh, sitting in some area where nobody will disturb you so you can focus on each other you know to get to know each other as much as possible i know guys that when you 30 and plus years old often dating reminds you kind of job interview so your task is to keep conversation light pleasant and enjoyable and uh, so it will be opposite of energy of interview. So to keep it light and romantic, there is here's my other tip. You can still bring flowers on a date. You cannot give it physically to a lady, but you will see how her face change and the dynamic of the conversation change as well. Like yesterday, one of our lady on a call, she said to men, show me a woman who don't like flowers. And it's true. It's true for majority ukrainian women they are really crazy about flowers because it's the way how men show his care and his interest in her make a compliment to her at the beginning of conversation to break the ice and it's not just like you're beautiful something more specific about her smile about her eyes maybe about her hair please guys i know it's a distant date but it's still date so make sure you will dress nicely dress sharp it's really something very attractive to Ukrainian women. Even I know one Ukrainian woman who started a relationship with an American man and she told me, I don't know how to deliver him so that he dressed very, like, you know, very badly. And it's really not very attractive to me. He's a nice person, but this kind of how he dressed, it just like turns me off. So guys, learn from <laughs> this American guy mistakes and don't do this. Classy outfit will be a good choice always. Next guys, let her talk. Let her talk 70% and you speak 30%. It's important because it's the way how she build emotional connection with you. And if she's not very talkative, the best strategy you can use just asking her question. But again, not switching in the mood where it's like interview, you know? Keep it uh, lightly. If you can make her laugh, it will be incredible. Actually, I think in the profiles of Ukrainian ladies, after strong men, their next requirements, him having a great sense of humor. It's a big thing for Ukrainian women. You can do a little bit of jokes, but don't uh, turn all conversation into joke. Uh, it just will help you to feel more relaxed and more natural, more open to you. It's important after you break the ice, ask her how she is now due to the situation in Ukraine, how her relatives, where she is living, how things are going on. It's good if you can share your compassion about everything that's going on in Ukraine, but please don't stuck in this topic because you will lose all the emotion and forget the original reason why you meet, you know, basically. You will lose all romantic mood. It can turn into a very sad conversation. Remember, you're leader of conversation, so please make sure you can manage it into the right direction. Please let her know about your plans how quickly you can come and visit her to meet her in real life. It's important, especially now. Ask her about her hobbies, her interests, how she likes to spend her day off, to see if you have here common interests. Ask about her pets. It's 
very light topic and normally very excited. I see often our couples, they just bring their dogs to the camera, they exchange and they're happy to share they, their pets. So it's very funny and light conversation as it's supposed to be on the first date. And then from the light questions and light conversation, you can dig a little bit deeper, asking questions that are very important for you. For example, conversations about children. There is, can be many different scenarios. Yeah, she can be single mom or you want children uh, or you have already children and you don't know how she perceives that. There can be many different cases, right? And some of them can be deal breakers for you. Before I will talk about don'ts, I want to tell you the most common question that both lady and men ask each other. Woman ask men why he's looking for Ukrainian wife and men ask why she's looking for foreigner. I strongly recommend you to think uh, before call how you would answer this question. Ukrainian ladies, they don't know really much about feminism, but Ukrainian television show a lot of bad things that happen to Ukrainian ladies who married foreigner. They don't show happy stories on national TV, just about her being beaten, her being divorced or something. So she has a lot of fears about this. Like if you normal person, why you don't have a relationship there. And then when she asks, she wants to look in her eyes and get answer from you. So I strongly recommend you not to bad mouth Western woman. It's not, it will not perceive good. Maybe come from the side that you're looking for traditional roles in the family and traditional feminine woman and you're just not able to find this in the West. When you ask her why she's looking for foreigner, her normal answer is I'm not looking for specifically foreigner, I'm just looking for a good man with whom I can establish family because it's my life goal number one. So guys, now about don'ts. Please avoid any conversations about money, how expensive to live here or you know, how much money you make. She will not ask you this, by the way, but I see sometimes guys like to share, you know, when you even not being asked. And woman can ask you what you're doing for a living just because she's interested what area you work with, you know, because it also tells her about your personality. For example, if you're an IT guy, maybe you're a little bit more introvert, you know, but if you like, I don't know, organize uh, uh, events or something, you know, you're very extrovert. So next topic, nothing about religion. I know for you guys, it's very important that women will go with you in, in church every week or, you know, or she have the same beliefs that you have. But it's very, very personal and it's not definitely a topic for the first date. First, you need to find out if you have this foundation, you know, of the same life goals and uh, life values, you know. And then from here, if it's match, you know, you can go deeper, right? But definitely not on the first date. I strongly recommend you, you avoid those conversations. Next topic is about politics. Please, guys, again, it will turn into war. You will just lose the mood during your day. Next boot topic is your access. I mean, it's okay to ask when your relationship finish or something like this, but just not jump into details about what was wrong in your ex relationship. What did you learn from them? You know, she's not that close to you that you can jump in this topic. Um, I strongly recommend you to keep it away from the first date. Okay, mainly that's everything you need to know and this will be enough for first one hour introduction call. And I want to share with you, yesterday we had three introduction calls and all three men and women confirmed their interest to get to know each other more. All three couples have great English, which was very easy to communicate with each other. And it's really very enjoyable and exciting day for me. Yesterday I smile a lot and my muscles on the face very trained now. <laughs> I was very happy for our couples. Normally we have every second introduction is successful, which it means that couple both mutually express their desire to get to know each other. This other 50% can, or man, you know, or woman, uh, don't really excited or don't have attraction to each other or something. It sh always should work mutually, right? And I find this number pretty high. And I ask myself, why? 
Before I will answer the question, I just want to remind you guys, please feel free to reach out to me for having private matchmaking consultation. Just go to magicguarantee spelled with y dot com slash register, book a free consultation with me where I will answer all your questions. So I think we have such a high rate of success in our introduction calls simply because we have quality women who've been interviewed with us we know that they have serious intention of finding their husband and we introduce them to men who has the same the same life goals and then before introduction they also mutually choose each other so this model really works great so i hope guys this video was inspirational for you and very useful and you will not be now nervous about having this introduction call just watch this video do, do your homework if you like it please press like subscribe to our channel to see me more and write in comments what do you think maybe you have some other tips for guys it will be much appreciated see you soon bye bye